Yes, we are. Hello, we are. Bjorn Pilot here. I'm in Gothenburg with Rickard. Hello! At Hi. Aero Club in Göteborg. And we're gonna check out the electric people strell plane. Yes, indeed. Here it is. Oh. That was a that's a small one. Yeah. Suppose it's fueling. <laughs> and this is a, that's a charger. Yeah? Yes, it is. So yeah. here is you can start with the fueling station here. We're currently charging the aircraft. Uh, it'll take approximately another four to five minutes before we are good to go. Okay. This is a charging station converting uh, uh, alternating current to direct current that goes with this cable to the aircraft like a Tesla car. Perfect. So, let's have a look. I suppose uh, the battery on switch is a pretty important switch. Oh. So here it is, like an iPhone or a smartphone. We're charging and currently at 67, 67% until we are 100% and good to go with this aircraft. Mm. The charging process is ongoing and we can monitor the temperatures. As you can see, there's not that many buttons here. No. There's only like four buttons here controlling master, avionics, battery engine and the power. We also have the circuits and besides these buttons, there's only the standard instruments that we use on this aircraft like altitude, airspeed, rate of climb, rate of descent. And standard. except that, it's not that, that much more. So it's a very easy aircraft for a pilot or just a student that has never been flying before. Mm. So okay. just entering and see, it's not that much to focus on when you see the aircraft for the first time. Pippi Strad, that's in, in Slovenia and as you told me before, yeah. And yes. Italy also or? Yes, they have a factory in Gorizia, uh, northeastern part of Italy. And that's where I did my uh, education and uh, uh, flight training on this aircraft in mm -hmm. August uh, 2020. Okay, and this one is it the first in Scandinavia or in Sweden? Or it's uh, there have, have been Pipistrels electric aircraft in Norway, like the Alpha Electro, but this is uh, quite different because this is the first EASA approved electric aircraft in mm -hmm. Scandinavia. Uh huh, understand. Called Pipistrel Velis Electro. Uh -huh, so that's understand. the difference. This is the first EASA approved aircraft that we can use for private air, uh, private flights, okay, like we're going to do today. Yeah, beautiful. I really look forward to 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 try this one. Yeah, good. And here we have provision for a GoPro. Yeah, we have one yes. on the right hand side, and we also have one on the left hand side. Perfect. I like, it's already prepared. And here you can see the most fun part of this aircraft, the registration. Yeah, that's a cool one. <laughs> kilowatt hours. Yes, Sierra Echo kilowatt hours. <laughs> that's a one, <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's find out where the batteries are. Yes. Below or? or? There is actually one battery here, but it's so attached here with all the screws, so we can't open it. Not, okay. Not today. Okay. We have one battery in front. In front. We also have one in the back. And in the back battery, uh, we can actually have a look at. Okay. Is this cooling for the batteries or? Yes. What? Okay. This is the. Understand. The fan for the cooling. It's part. like a Mustang inlet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Here it is. That's the battery. Hmm. Yeah, there we have it. It says danger with all the cooling system. It's a cooling system uh, that sounds. Ah, uh -huh, okay. While we're charging this battery. Then it's cooled. Okay, understand. And here up there we only have the ELT, the yellow one. Okay. Emergency locator transmitter. 
So this battery looks actually the same like the one in the front. Okay. And those two are about to bring us up in the air today. Okay. And the classic question. Uh, what's the range and how much time do we have? We have in total 62 minutes endurance. Okay. Uh, but since we need, according to ASA laws, have at least 10 minutes final reserve if we are planning on getting back to Gothenburg again, so we can fly for 52 minutes. 52? That was minutes. more than I thought. I thought maybe maybe we have 15 minutes or so, 20 minutes, but we, we can last quite longer. Okay. But it's a different story if we are going like from here to another airport. Okay. Then we need to have yeah. 30 minutes final reserve. Oh, uh -huh, yeah, 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 of also. course. Yeah, you need more reserve. We have, uh, that means we have 32 minutes instead okay. of flying. Ah, uh, okay. And, but uh, still more than I thought. Yes. And uh, it could, uh, you could recalculate that into approximately like uh, 67 kilometers uh, okay. distance. Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> Will be great. Okay. So, trying to get into this one. This is okay. That was <laughs> better than I thought. Yeah. Wow. This is. Yeah. This really comfortable. Like. Uh, Draken cockpit for the charge. Yeah, here you can see we got 95% of the charge. We're ready to go. Good. So, here it is. It's off. And then we disconnect the charger. This is closing. There it is, secure. Good. Not going anywhere. There you go. Svenska då, eller när jag pratar med tonet? Ja. Så pratar vi engelska med varandra. Ja, det är bra. Ja, det är bra. Så. Okej, okay. kan du höra mig? Ja, jag hör fint. Prata tydligt. Ja. Perfekt. Då ska vi på på GoPro'n. Yes. Okej, okay. I'll now switch on the battery engine power. Hear the noise. Yes. That's a cool yeah. starting. And then we put the power on. And this is the awesome part. This is the connector to the gas, uh, to the throttle. So now it ha nothing happens, but when we put on the power, and when we apply some power, the propeller will yeah, start going. So it, here it goes. Wow. And now That's when we just pull it back to idle, it stops. So it's not like a normal piston <laughs> engine when it keeps rolling. No. So it, it only goes when you want to apply the power. Wonderful. So now it's just standing like uh, all, all still. Okay. Kalion gör en lärm efter 360. Kalion efter stort går ni klarar i vänster var till bana 19 1500 och runt. Efter så spänns bara fötter och fotar och lägger sig i Kalion. Servitornet och eftermiddag Sigrid Erik Kalle Willem Helge. Sigrid Erik Kalle Willem Helge servitornet. Sigrid Erik Kalle Willem Helge position är klubben på personen bord önskar eh, en tur över City mellan 1500 fot och 3000 fot. Vi vill ha en klarering mot City initialt 1500 fot och där under transponder 6743. Initialt eh, 1500 fot där under över City och eh, transponder 6743. Sigge vill ha en halge. Sigge vill ha en halge vid 270 grader 7, kun halge 1032. Tack så Adam till den plats 19. Kun halge 1032, eh, tack så vem plats eh, Ada, eh, 19 vid Adam. Sige Vilhelm Helge. Okej, okay, tacksar vi för nu väntar de där ska jag ta transponder. Söder, gå för mig där Sigrid Erik, Kalle Erik, Niklas, spelkötta två personer. Parker break. Parker break off. Kör vi! Ja, 
as you can hear, it's still quite uh, not that quite uh, quite a lot of noise. It just stops, so we can just keep keep gliding. Now you can see we're currently 3 kilowatts of the... Uh, yes, now that, that's what we're using at the moment. So now when I pull it down, it's only 0 kilowatts. Now I increase the power again and we uh, have 3 kilowatts again. see the temperatures of, for example, the engine. You can see the temperatures of the inverter converting direct current to, yes, and both batteries. And we have a minimum and uh, the highest uh, temperature allowed. Here you can see we have the two warning lights uh, indicating it, it's, it's F that says forward and uh, the R that is for the rear battery. So you can indicate which type of failure we have. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Exactly. And then we can disconnect the battery uh, uh, that is bought and we can uh, disconnect it and we can still fly on the other battery. Now we are at holding point 100, we'll do a run up. Brakes on. First, I guess we put the go. There we are. So now it's uh, we have the transponder on, so they can see us. The only thing we do, it's uh, actually only a flow we do uh, before takeoff. We check that we have the doors closed, left and right side. We put the flaps to flap one. We check that the trim is set to neutral, and then we do a run up. And the only run up we do is that we pull the uh, throttle full, check that it doesn't go over the red line, and if it doesn't. We put it back to idle. We could go. That's the only thing we do. If it doesn't, check. Yeah. we put it back to idle. We could we'll go. Power. That's the only thing we Full do. Full power. So now we'll check. I hold my brakes. I will apply power. Full power. Take a minimum halge ned over 30 seconds till so we're clear. As you can see, no problem. No problem. Okay, are you ready? Yeah, let's go. Oh, take a look at the map. That's the next one, Lido. Take a look at the map. Take a look at the map. Take a look at the map. Okay. Yeah. They're left. And we have clear right. Yeah. There's a little bit of fog there, but it will go out. Det vi har klart direkt mot 60. Till MLG. Jag är med en fart 90 och nu från 3000 fot också då. Tack för det. 1000 fot är under över 60. Det ligger med MLG. Klart starta 19. Ja, det är gott. Jag vill se till. Det är firm. Okej. Är du redo? Ja. Let's go. 5920, starta egen upptäckt och lämna österut. Vi ska fly full power. Here comes the stall warning, indicating with 60 knots, airspeed is alive. 50 knots, rotate. 55, 50. 
We begin with 60 knots. Yeah. Start accelerating, yes. Yeah. Then, here at 300 feet, I'll put the flaps up. Okay. And then I'll pull back a little on the throttle to max continuous, which is top of green arc. Where the battery is. Yeah, no, it's where, where you see, she will see the effect of the, the batteries at approximately 48 kilowatts. And then we keep on climbing at approximately 75 knots. There we are, up in the air. <laughs> All electric power made from the sun itself.